This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by CFU, the power of service. The UNI women's soccer team has had a rough fall season with many close losses. But the Panthers haven't given up many goals, and a large reason for this is senior defender Allie Breeze. The four-year starter for the Panthers is an all-conference honoree and a candidate for the National Class Award. This award focuses on the total student-athlete and encourages students to use their platform in athletics to make a positive impact as leaders in their communities. We spoke with Coach Price and Allie Breeze about the season and this special honor. Again, it has been a tough year, and we, we just talked there. I mean, the, you know, a lot of teams would have um, started squabbling and fighting and, um, and, and maybe even have given up with the season uh, that we've had. But uh, our girls, uh, you know, are very resilient, but we never gave up. And I think if you ask every team that we played this season, uh, I think they all, all felt like that, you know, they had a tough game against us. It's just that, uh, you know, we, obviously we lost more games than we won. This group has just uh, has worked so hard for our program. I mean, obviously, we wanted to elevate our program. Um, and, and when they came in, we had a lot of work to do in, in terms of that. And they've been really, you know, a big part of that. And um, we wanted to send them off with, uh, with a win. Obviously, this season hasn't really gone the way we uh, would have thought it had. But, um, but we still wanted to finish off on a positive note, and um, I'm happy that we were able to do that. I love being a part of the UNI women's soccer program. The teammates are so much fun. They're always there to support you. They always have your back, and it's always just so much fun to see the girls. She came in as a freshman, but she might as well have been a senior. I mean, she she's one of the most mature people I've ever met, and. Um, She's so consistent. Uh, I mean, we, you know, we just talked about that the team needs to work on consistency. Well, we kept saying, just look at Ali, just look at Ali, because I can't remember her having a bad game or, or a bad practice in four years. I mean, she's literally the same person, the same player every single day. Um, and so, you know, we have that kind of role model on our team. Um, we just need more people to, uh, you know, to emulate uh, Ali. But uh, man, she's going to be just uh, really, really difficult to replace. Just that maturity level. We talked about Ali as a soccer player, but uh, you know, she's a fantastic student. Again, consistent. You know, just churns out A's and 4.0s every semester, and um, and then she, you know, she gets involved in her community here in, in the Cedar Valley, and also back uh, back home in uh, the Des Moines area. So. Um, she's just a great all-round person. She's going to be a success, whatever she uh, wants to do, uh, you know, just because she's so consistent and she's such a hard worker. I thought it was really special to be nominated for that Senior Class Award. I have had so many people help me um, throughout my career, not even just at UNI, but before UNI, my parents, my friends, and my teammates. They've all helped me work hard and persevere and help me get nominated for such an awesome award. Our concentration levels, um, you know, and our, and our consistency, you know, um, you know, sometimes we, you can just, you can literally see them, you know, our players switching off, and um, you just can't do that at this level. You've got to play 90 minutes. You've got to, got to be always uh, involved in the game and always thinking about what's going to happen next. And, and quite honestly, sometimes we just switch off and. Um, you know, so that's that's going to be something that we work on, and that's a very tough thing to work on. It's it's um, that's not something that's done overnight. So um, so we're going to have to do that. Just get a little bit more uh, tougher mentally, um, which I think goes hand in hand. And then obviously from a soccer point of view, we've got to score, try and score more goals. Um, you know, maybe that's uh, the way we do that is to bring in more attack-minded players. Um, but I, I believe that we have some girls on this team that, uh, that could score goals, but they, they're really going to have to kind of change their mentality uh, in order to do that.